Good job. Hey, remember to. Hey, y'all, this is Scott with Paladin Tower Tactics. Try not to get distracted by the uh, start of a glorious mustache. Uh, or at least until my wife tells me I have to shave it. Um, so I wanted to do a video on kids and gun safety. Um, like any other topic, you have to teach your kids. It's your responsibility to teach your kids about firearm safety. It's your responsibility to teach them about basically everything in life. That's a biblical mandate to parents, specifically to fathers, that uh, they should teach their children. Um, and that it is their responsibility. It's not the government's responsibility. It's not the school's responsibility. It's not your neighbor's responsibility. It's your responsibility to teach your kids about guns uh, and everything in life. There's some things that my wife and I do with our kids that has helped and we wanted to share that with you all. The first thing that we do that we start off with is before they're even talking, basically what we're doing is we're telling them what to do when they see a gun and whether or not they touch guns. So for me personally, securing a firearm in the household, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal, um, but more importantly, the, the way that I secure my firearm or firearms is I carry it on me. Uh, if it's not on me, then it's, uh, it's placed in a safe uh, or in a place where a child cannot reach. Just because it's up high on a shelf doesn't necessarily mean that they can't get it. Um, so one of the things that we do is we uh, we tell them, hey, when you see a gun, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do if you see a gun? Tell mommy that. The uh, the other question that we ask them uh, pretty routinely is, do you touch guns? Hey, Galilee. Galilee. Do you touch guns? No, no. We have also done some uh, some other things, such as uh, we call it our gun test and. Um, Basically, all that means is we uh, we unload a gun uh, and we make sure that it's unloaded. Don't obviously don't do this with a, a loaded gun. We'll set it in an area where they can reach and we will watch um, kind of sneakily from a distance. We want to validate what we've taught them. So when they walk up to the gun or if they look at it, they'll uh, if they obviously if they touch it, that's a big no, no. If they do what they're supposed to do, they're not gonna touch it, they're gonna run immediately and go tell mommy and daddy. Well, I'm more concerned, not with my kids, but especially if you're in the habit of like, well, I trust my kids. What happens when the kid's friends come over or the their cousin or something else like that that hasn't had the same training that your kids have been through? Definitely make sure that if you've got them in these special hiding spots or something else like that, um, man, make sure that you, uh, make sure that you go put them up. Uh, make sure that you lock them up, especially when guests come over. You treat guns like they're power tools. You teach your kids about guns and that you do everything you can to educate. And, and that's the thing is you don't have to make them some mystical thing or uh, something that is a mystery to them. Just educate them on it, just like you would with cars and crossing the road and power tools and everything else like that. Guns are tools. And here's the thing. If you don't educate your children about guns, someone else will. And whatever propaganda that they want to feed your children, uh, just like everything else in this country, they're going to shape your child's mind with ideas that are just flat out false or things that are not true about guns. So it's our job to teach the next generation and it's our job to continue to pass the knowledge of our right to keep and bear arms down to our children so that it is preserved and thereby preserving our republic. So it's a big deal. Make sure you teach your kids about guns. Do you touch guns? What do you do when you see a gun? Go tell mommy and daddy. That's what if your sisters or your brother is about to touch a gun? I just say, say, say you gra I'll grab their hands and not just say no. That's right. And then what are you going to do? Uh, uh, I'm going to bring my them my, to my mom and dad. That's right. You're gonna what if you have friends over and your friends say, hey, can I see your daddy's guns? What do you do? Uh, 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 I say no. Hey, 
You're cute. Yeah. Hey, Estelle. Uh-huh. Can you tell me the four firearm safety rules? Always treat a gun like it is loaded. Never point a gun at anything you don't want to kill, destroy, or pay for. Keep your finger off the trigger until you are justified to fire. Know it is beyond your target, between you and your target, and around you and your target. Good job. Trigger off the trigger. Keep it off until your sights are aligned and you're justified to fire, right? Oh, it's almost there. Okay, once you're ready, touch the trigger and slowly press the trigger backwards, right? Let's move our thumb to the side so that we can get a good trigger press. Slowly press the trigger. Did right, I hit it? No, I think you moved the crosshair as soon as you press the trigger, so let's try again, okay? We got to keep the crosshair on the target the entire time while we're pressing the trigger, all right? So that's the trick. You keep the crosshair, keep that cross on the target the entire time while you're pulling the trigger. Can you go ahead and load another round in? Good job. Did you hit it. Did you hear it? I heard it. Did you hear it? Uh-huh. Good job, little girl. <laughs> All right, let's load another round in. Finger off the trigger, good. First, let's put our shoulder into it. Uh -huh. Get a good steady platform. And, and then, remember, finger off the trigger. Until I'm justified to load. Until you're justified to fire. fire. Right? Lines up. Okay, slowly press the trigger as you... Good job. Did I hear it? Yeah, did you hear it? Awesome. <laughs> good job, Stella. There was just one mess. There was just one miss, that's right. That's pretty good. All right. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Watch the cross, don't take your eyes off the cross. Good job. Hey, remember to watch the target after you fire, okay? I did. Good girl. Did I? <laughs> now load another round in, good job. Remember, bring it under your armpit to load it. Oh. Good. I'll push it hard forward. Now, pull it down. Good. Finger off the trigger, point out at your target. Watch the cross, don't take your eyes off the cross the whole time. Good job. That was really good. <laughs> Did you take your eyes off the cross? No. Nope. That was good. Never. Do you uh, touch guns? No, no. What do you do when you see a gun? Um, take it. Not pick it up. Oh, do not pick it up. What do we do? Not pick it up. And what happens if your sisters or your baby brother are going to touch a gun? What do you do? You grab them, that's right. And then what do you do? <laughs> what do you tell them? Jump, jump. You tell them jump, jump. 